Type 1 diabetes is a disease characterized by high blood sugar levels. It happens because glucose is unable to reach cells and it is accumulated in the blood. Normally, glucose is fuel for cells and should enter into cells, but for it they require the presence of insulin. Insulin is a hormone produced by the pancreas. Sometimes our body mistakenly attacks our own tissues. And when it happens to pancreas and destroys insulin-producing cells, type 1 diabetes is developed. To say simple, type 1 diabetes develops when blood glucose level is high. Blood glucose level is high because there is no insulin in the blood. And there is no insulin because we the cells which can produce them are destroyed by our own immune system. When glucose is abundant in the blood, our body tries to dilute it, so water starts to drawn from cells to blood. So we get not only more glucose, but also more water in blood. At this state kidneys trying to excrete this excess glucose and water from body and person starts frequent urination. So first early symptom of diabetes is frequent urination, because body tries to excrete this excess glucose from blood. When person urinates frequently they lose water, it causes dehydration. When dehydration occurs brain gets signal of thirst. So, first symptom, frequent urination causes second symptom, increased thirst. In result we have these two classical symptoms, frequent urination and increased thirst. Because glucose is main fuel for our organs and body. Our cells constantly experience glucose deficiency even glucose is high in blood. It happens because glucose is unable to reach to cells. And this starvation of cells is converted to our body as a hunger. So, third symptom of diabetes is increased hunger. Increased hunger causes eat more, it causes further increased blood glucose level, but our cells still no energy and no fuel. So, body starts to compensate it and switch its fuel from glucose to fats and proteins. And as a result get paradoxical weight loss. Person's appetite is increased, but they still losing weight. Because body burns own fats and muscles. So, fourth symptom is weight loss despite increased appetite. And last important early symptom is blurred vision. It happens because high blood glucose causes high glucose around our eye lens. This glucose eventually reach into lens also. Water follows to glucose to dilute it and eventually we get deformed lens, swelled lens with glucose and water. Lens losses its function and we get blurred vision. This condition is temporary and when blood sugar level is corrected, vision also will improve. During diabetes person also may feel tired and fatigued due to inability of glucose to serve as a fuel for the cells. Very important characteristic of type 1 diabetes is that it is usually developed in childhood. It has two peaks of occurrence. First peak is age of 7 and the second is between 10 to 14 years old. The earlier diabetes onset the severe the symptoms and the course of the disease. Another important symptom is fruity smell in the breath associated with type 1 diabetes, but it's not considered early sign. Rather, it indicates severe diabetes and may lead emergency condition called diabetic ketoacidosis. Fruity breath occurs because body starts burn fats instead of glucose. It means fat for fuel, producing ketone bodies in the bloodstream and byproduct of the process is acetone. Acetone is exhaled and we perceive it as a fruity or sweet smell, sometimes it described as vine or cider smell. Diagnosis of diabetes is made by measurement of blood glucose level. If fasting blood glucose is more than 126 mg, Pedicillator in two different measurements confirms the diagnosis of diabetes mellitus. Also, Glycated hemoglobin also measured which measures if blood glucose level was high previously. So, even in current situation blood glucose is normal glycated hemoglobin can be high which also means that it is diabetes, and further studying is required. To know early signs and symptoms of diabetes is crucial because early diagnosis means a better prognosis.